Today is very special for the health of it because I have my 12 year old son Zane with me today and I thought we'd approach a serious subject, something that may be a struggle for parents to share. Maybe it's a little awkward uh, to discuss this subject with your children, but it's something that we, we dabble in talking about our house, in our house, but I don't think that I've really um, tackled the subject as much as I, as, Jane, no, what are you doing? Come back, no, it's, it's okay. It's, it, so join us, it's cool. he's fine. I'll, I'll get him, he's fine. Come back down. Dude, we're just talking about nutrition. <laughs> That's all we're talking about. So my kids are subjected to the books I listen to on Audible while in the car. And currently we're working through this baby called How Not to Die by Dr. Greger. You've actually heard quite a bit of it. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. So, okay, so from as much as you have heard, what's, what's his overwhelming theme? Nutrition. Right, right. <laughs> but like specific. He uses the term a lot. Plant-based diet. Plant-based diet. Exactly. So would you be open to me giving you a little nutrition quiz? Oh. On camera. Okay. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I, I bought you this drink to bribe you. Question number one. Okay. What are the three building blocks of nutrition? Oh, okay. <sighs> There's okay. three. There's three. Think. Okay. Think. Okay. Protein. Protein. Protein, yes. Okay. Plants? No. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Something um, that gives you energy to climb trees. Sugar? Oh. Car Carbs. Carbohydrates. Okay. And then there's one more. Um, fat. Good job. Yay. Okay, so we're looking down at your plate. Ugh. What item should fill the majority of your plate? What item plants. Should, okay. Okay. I, I know you're saying plants because you've been listening to Dr. Greger, plants. but can you, plants make up what two kinds of foods? Actually, three. But what two do you want to fill the half of your plate with? Protein. No, no, no. <laughs> you were on the right track with the plants. <laughs> they Fruits come and in vegetables. Oh, okay. yeah, good. <laughs> very, very good. Okay. Of two of the nutritional macronutrients is what we call them. One builds muscle and one gives energy. Which one builds muscle? Oh, that would be protein. Good job. Okay, and which one gives energy? Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. What kind of carbohydrates would be the best kind of energy? Um, soybeans. I don't know. I was afraid you were going to say <laughs> Charleston chew. <laughs> Let's talk about soda and candy and ice cream. Oh. Sh should we eat those things? Should we get rid of them completely? What's your thought? Uh, you should because they're... Completely? No. What about cream soda? Speaking of, come on. Yeah, um, I don't know. Let's think about it rationally. Okay, okay. Okay, do I ever have ice cream? Yes. Do I ever have french fries? Yes. Do I have it every day? No. Okay, so can we eat french fries, ice cream, candy? Yes. Yes, with maybe a caveat. What does that mean? Oh, right. <laughs> Perhaps in moderation, maybe not every day. Oh, okay. All right. That Do I let you sense. have those things? Yeah. Do I let you have them every day? No. No. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You're good. Okay. Are you nervous talking about that subject? No. I got your cream soda, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. Give me an idea of what you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, you won pancakes in a raffle box, so... <laughs> you did have pancakes this morning. Okay. And yeah, last morning. Yes, yesterday. Last, last morning. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Okay. Uh, lunch. I make myself tortellini or pizza. What does dinner look like? 
Well, last night I had a burger with cheese on it and onion rings. Yes, you did. And it was from a gas shop. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> so let me ask you, how much water do you drink? Oh, I don't know. You have no idea how much no. water you drink. Like, two that, of no, these a day. Okay, but that does not count. But two you, of these sizes of Two water. of those sizes of water a day. Yeah. So that's what, 16 ounces maybe? Okay, so maybe two know. of those a day? Yeah. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Yay. So where do you think you can improve um, with the food that you eat? Oh, not Because, you know, eat. our house is not perfect, right? Yeah. Okay, so, but where would you like to improve? Um, I don't know. Vegetables. You don't eat enough vegetables. Well, there was an onion in the onion ring on my burger yesterday. That's great. What about broccoli? Green beans, no, no. salad. No. Okay. Do you eat fruit? Yes. Yes. I eat apples. You love apples. Okay. So you would say vegetables is an area where you need to improve. Is there anything that you'd like for me to make more of every week? Something you like having in the house? Oh. Um, Now's your time, buddy, because it's on camera. I love that Indian tiki masala chicken. Indian tiki masala chicken. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there anything that I need to improve on in the house or have more of in the house? Cheddar chips. Okay, but let's go back to like talking about the nutrients we need in our lives. Is oh, there something okay. more that I need to be having available for um, you? I'm not sure. I never eat any of the vegetables. And there you have it. So I was thinking about this. What if, how would you respond if I said, we are going to eat vegetarian five days a week and only have like animal protein on the weekends? Ah, Why? I want people to make my Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> yes, that's just, and then then put I that wanna, out there too. There's Philly cheesesteaks in the house. But I, I finish those off in three days. Oh wait, and then I wouldn't be able to put pepperoni on my pizzas. Mm. Since we're, ha we're struggling with you getting in vegetables, are you open to at least having more of those during the week? Like if the you were chili cheesesteaks or the pepperoni pizza? The vegetables. Oh. The vegetables. Uh -huh. Are you willing to put uh, yeah. more of that on your plate every day? You could still uh, have your Philly cheesesteak and your pizza. <laughs> are you willing to have more vegetables on your plate? I'm trying to work with you here, bud. <laughs> no. You're not willing. No. Wow. <laughs> See, I'm a wellness coach <laughs> and a fitness instructor, and I struggle. I struggle, and I love you. 12-year-old boy should have half a plate with fruits and veggies. Oh. So during the day, maybe one to two cups of veggies and one to two fruits a day. Well, I had five apples once. In a row? Yeah, and then I was farting. I was going to say, that's a lot of fiber, dude. Okay, half your grains should be whole grains. Give me an example of a whole grain. And don't say the bread you make your pizza on because that's the wrong answer. The bread that I don't touch. <sighs> yeah. Um, dairy. Do you eat any dairy? Um, you just have a little bit of dairy. Dairy. Well, I have pizza. On, I have cheese on the Philly cheesesteaks, the okay. cheese on the pizza. Okay. Yesterday there was cheese on my onion ring burger. So dairy equals cheese for you. Yeah. Okay. What about five ounces of protein? That can include animal protein like eggs or fish. Oh, I like hard boiled eggs. Right, okay. So you so about five ounces mm -hmm. you're supposed to be getting a day. And you're supposed to be having fish up to two times a week. Well you don't make fish a lot. One time a week. We do. Okay, here's the kicker. Okay. You're supposed to have twenty five to thirty five grams of sugar in a day and that's it. The other day uh, you got a root beer and you turned it around and what did it say? 75 grams okay. of sugar. That was like two days of sugar almost. <laughs> Three days almost, right? <laughs> of sugar. Those guidelines, actually, they're for a 12-year-old boy, but they would be great guidelines for adults as well, even just adults who are trying to get back into a regular habit. So maybe the uh, point of this whole episode is that even adults should eat like a 12-year-old should be eating for the health of it.
You can say for the health of it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. No, you can say for the health of it. Do you want to say it? For the health of it. For the health of it. Yeah. <laughs>